In question 2 of this exercise, the problem statement says ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD is equal to BC, AD is equal to BC and angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. So angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Now using this information, we have to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC and we have to prove that BD is equal to AC and angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. So let's start by proving that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. For that purpose, let's highlight the two triangles first so that it's clear what which of the two triangles we are trying to prove as congruent. So triangle ABD is this triangle I'm hand highlighting now. So let me highlight it in a darker color. So triangle AB D which is this triangle and then we have triangle BAC which is BAC which is this triangle. So these are the two triangles we have to prove as congruent. So let's compare them and let's see which of their corresponding parts are equal. So in triangle ABD and triangle BAC. So what can you see? So you can see that AD is equal to BC. This is already given to us. So AD is equal to BC. We are given that angle DAB, this angle is equal to angle CBA, this angle. So angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Both of these in information pieces are given to us. Okay, and now we can also see that AB, this side, is common to both triangles. So this is the same for both triangles. So AB is equal to AB because these two, uh, this is common to both the triangles. And this means, so we have two corresponding pa side pairs equal and the included angle pair equal. So this means that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by the SAS congruence criterion, okay? So we have proven that the two triangles are congruent and now if you look at BD and AC, so let's highlight these two sides. So we have BD which is this side and AC which is this side. So these are the corresponding, this is a corresponding side pair for the two triangles. So these two sides must be equal. So BD is equal to AC uh, and we can say this is true by CPCT, corresponding parts of congruent triangles and angle ABD which is this angle, angle ABD is equal to angle BAC because these two are corresponding parts of congruent of the two congruent triangles. So let's write that here as well. Angle ABD will also be equal to angle BAC once again using corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Okay, so just to summarize the solution, the two triangles are congruent by the SAS congruence criterion and hence these two equalities hold true by CPCT. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.